everyone, my name is Taya, and I'm going to show you the point mixer tool in Adobe Lightroom. It's a very helpful tool, and I'll show you a few of my photographs and how I would use them personally. This is a great way for you to take your color correction skills to the next level and just enjoy the photo editing process even more. So let's begin and let's see how we can make the most of this interesting tool. So I'm in Lightroom right now, and this tool is located right under the tone curve in develop. So go to the develop module and then go to color mixer. And typically the first thing that will open is the actual mixer. If you are not familiar with the mixer, essentially it targets specific colors like reds, oranges, yellows, and so on in your photograph. And depending on what you select, you can edit the hue, the saturation, and the luminance of those specific colors. So it's a really interesting tool. It's great for altering colors, manipulating them, if you want certain colors to be darker or lighter or less saturated or more saturated in your photograph, you can do all of that here. And I personally really love this tool. But color or point color makes this even more specific. So what you need to do is click on the point color dropper, add a sample. Now, I experimented with this a little bit myself before I started recording this. And in my experience, it seems that when you select a very neutral area like this, you're not going to get any results. So let's just pick this area. You will get an error saying that you cannot select a color here and you need to pick a more saturated area. So keep this in mind when you edit your photographs. It will only work if you select an area like this that has a lot of color you can actually pick. So let's say I want to edit the greens, here, the specific green. So I'm going to select it, click on the color, and then this will appear. A specific color will appear. You'll be able to change the color if you're not happy with what was selected. And then you can change the shift, the, the hue, the saturation, or the luminance. So I want to play around with the hue here. Because I think the field is orangey. I want the greens to have an autumnal feeling to it. Just a little bit. Like this. So just a quick before and after right here. And this is something you can do in Mixer as well but I don't think it would be as specific and it would affect other areas as well. And it would just be a little bit more challenging to edit specific colors. So that's why point color was created in the first place. When you want to change a different color, click on sample spot color again. And say we change the blues right here. And I want to increase the saturation just a little bit, just to make the photo pop more. You might like the original version. <laughs> That's completely fine. But I kind of like this new version because it aligns with my style. So you can just keep going back and forth. And I think this is way faster than the general mixer tool. And it can help you enhance your photographs in very specific areas and get rid of certain colors or enhance certain colors that you like or dislike. Here's another photograph of very Photogenic cats. Once again, go point color tool. Click on the sampler. Select any color you like. Granted, this photograph was edited and color corrected, as was the previous one, so the colors were already manipulated with the help of presets. If you start with a completely raw image, the results will be different. Maybe you'll have more control. But in this case, I'm just going to select this color, for example, right here. I want to change the hue a little bit. And as you can see, because I selected a more general color, because the overall photograph does have a reddish hue to it, the fur was also affected. So keep this in mind if there are a lot of similar colors in your photographs. I'll go back to colors. I love this green here in the eye. I want to increase the saturation of that because the cats are in the spotlight here. And go to this cat's eye color, increase that as well. A little bit more intense, maybe a little bit unnatural, but I just wanted to show you before and after. So this is what this tool does. You can also play around with the range. As you can see, the range changes depending on where you go. And essentially what this does is it gives you more control over how specific the colors are or how the specific hue that is selected in the range around the hue. 
So this is a bit more scientific, I would say. You can just set it to 50 to create that balance in your images. But these are the colors that I play around with. And the results are not super dramatic, but if you play around with them enough, depending on your needs, you will get really interesting results, I think. So again, if you want to find this tool, go to the develop module, go to color mixer, click on point color specifically, select the sampler, select a color that is not too desaturated, and then change the hue, saturation, or lumens sliders. Thank you for watching.